Again, maybe the new cloths and the cushions caught him out slightly, slid more than he was expecting. One. So first real scoring opportunity for Mark Selby. He can play for a red to the same pocket here. Eight. Nine. Probably a little bit lower on this black than he would like, but he can get into the reds. Oh, but don't miss the black. Mark Selby, nine. That black come to his rescue? I don't think so. That red still goes to the right middle. I was just going to say, Stephen, the one thing you've got to avoid doing, and particularly early on in the match, is miss easy balls when you're in. Yeah, I was just going to say that, John. I know we're only in the second frame of a 35-frame final, but it cannot be given Ronnie more confidence than obviously already has. And nothing gives you confidence. It's when your opponent misses easy balls. Once again, beautiful control Three. of the cue ball. They'll be looking to leave a half ball black. There's a few loose reds to play on, but he liked the black. Back in its spot. Four. Another beautiful play positional shot. 11. Absolutely inch perfect. Coming round off two cushions with a trace aside like that, and as I say, <coughs> to the inch. He spotted this plant. I was going to say about Ronnie, you know, he's got everything. He just keeps looking at the packs, seeing what's available, trying to make things easier for himself. But even for the maestro, when you go into a, a cluster, you always seven. need a bit of luck. And that one hasn't worked out. <coughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan, 27. Well, I'd be disappointed with this split that he played. Just wanted to miss that red. If it had caught the other one, he'd have kicked a few open and it would released the cue ball. But unlike Ronnie in this tournament so far, Stephen, when he has run out of position, had an easy safety shot to play, he's usually made it count. He's not made this one count. No, he's left Mark with a, a pot to the left corner. He's got to get it, though, because if he doesn't, he's going to be leaving the red that's to the right of the pink to the left centre. So there's a bit of pressure on this. Well, they played it in such a way to get the white further down the table, but the red he played was always going to be a danger as well. So, just worrying signs at the minute. I know it's very early again, but you can't afford to let Ronnie dictate these first four frames. One. Oh, 
And also John sitting in his chair. Mark Selby, hard not to let his mind drift back to that Masters final. Absolutely. Eight. And sometimes you can get a feeling when you're playing someone like Ronnie that you, you've got to play your absolute best. It's pressure on you to, to not miss a ball and even that can have an effect on you. Nine. And as I say, I don't think he'll really relax Mark Selby until he gets that frame on the scoreboard and he, he'd want to get it sooner rather than later. You just get the feeling that the second frame has gone. I'd be surprised if it if Ronnie didn't get enough here. 33 ahead, 60. 75 remaining. Four of these remaining reds required. 17. Just having a look, he thought the pink didn't go on its spot. Check it here, but it goes on either. Yeah. Well, the referee convinced that it does go on. But it's two reds in possible positions. <laughs> Twenty-three. Surprise! I'm not certain what the, was going on there. I was, but he's still got two reds in the open, and these two reds with high-value colours will put him in 24. the snooker's required stage. Was Ronnie trying to get a look as to where he was putting the pink? He couldn't believe it went on the spot, but it did. So this blue, 32, and it'll put him 54 points in front with just 51 remaining. <laughs> well, these reds are obviously a plant to the left corner. So it didn't matter 37. about the pink going on its spot. Oh, oh well. He'll kick Ronnie himself Sullivan. there. 37. He will be kicking himself. It looked a dead set plan. I don't know why he needed to play it so hard. But Mark Selby now. Just a bit of a bounce. Trying to force the cue ball over. One snooker needed. It's not impossible. And it goes. Needs a bounce, though. Ideally, what? in an ideal world, you'd pot the black, play the red on the left-hand side, followed by a black, and then play a snooker behind the pink off the, the red just below the pink. But is that still a possibility? I think, I think I'd like to put a little cannon on that red. No, he's not. Just to loosen it a little bit, I don't think it's that straightforward if the red's touching the pink to lay a snooker. I've been trying to maybe catch the, the edge of that red there off the black. They obviously wanted to make sure he didn't miss the black. Oh, he's got to bounce again. Well, he's got Nine. to pop the black in the middle pocket. So Ronnie made a mistake there and has given him half a chance. This black needs to go in. It looks like it's there. Shot. Good shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, the easy snooker behind the pink is not on. That cue ball needed to be 16. on the right-hand side of the table. <coughs> but that pot on the black keeps him in with a slim chance. Oh, uh, Selby. 
16. And Mark puts his hand up and says, Sir Ronnie, that's enough for me if it's all right with you. And Ronnie gratefully receives it. Give him half a chance there, but just couldn't control the cue ball. 2-0, Ronnie O'Sullivan.